So here's the big news. of girl that hid in my face so afraid to tell the world what i've got to say but i have this dream right inside of me i'm gonna let it show it's time to let you know it's so that you know this is real this is me i'm exactly where i'm supposed to be now gonna let Okay, good morning guys. Um, it is Saturday morning and I have decided it's been a long time since we just chatted. Caught up. Um, let me turn my ringer off so it doesn't go off. Um, but a lot of things have happened, a ton. And I wanted to be able to share with you all my journey. This journey also is good for me to know um, and watch my growth. So that's kind of the reason why I do it. Let's sit back with your tea or coffee or food and listen to my story time. I've been going completely natural with my hair and I'm loving my curls. Right now they're not as defined because I've had it uh, like this for a couple days now. Um, but they need to be moisturized so I usually wet them, put a little um, leave-in conditioner, some oils, natural oils. Um, I use jojoba oil. Please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below if I pronounce that wrong. Jojoba oil, um, avocado oils. I even tried an avocado mask. That did not work, guys. I had strings in my hair. It was it was bad. So I think I'll stick to the the oils. And um, anyways, so this is my natural hair right now. This is how I've been wearing it, and I'm loving it. But let's go get ready with me. I've learned a little bit, just a little bit more about makeup since last time you guys saw me put it on. <laughs> so, watch me transform. So what I did is I washed my face just with warm water and then I put on a really good moisturizer for the face. It's my kind of my daily routine. I don't wear makeup every day either, which is part of the reason I feel like my skin is all right. Okay, there. Hopefully it sounds a little bit better. I just had to put in the mic so you guys can hear me better. So, I am going to start now that I've moisturized my face by putting a little water on my sponge and applying um, some foundation. Actually, you know what? Before I do that, I actually like to set it with setting spray. And I just use NYX. But I put it on as in layers as I do my makeup and seems to work really well. My makeup stays in place for most of the day. So let that dry a little bit while I talk to you. So the meetup group you guys saw, that was a great way and it is still a very great way to meet new people. Out of that meetup group, I basically whittled it down to one person that um, we kind of went through some bumps and kinks in the group because the group was just kind of, I don't know, full of drama. Um, but her and I actually stuck things out and actually learned a lot about each other. We actually are closer friends now than anybody else in the group. Um, I also took a trip to Chicago with some of the people in the group. Um, and as you can see in my other video, hmm, didn't turn out as great. Um, they were very, I should say, passive aggressive. So pretend they're your friends. They're not your friends. Um, I think there's some deep-seated seated issues there as well that no one really wanted to touch on. Needless to say, they're not my kind of people. So, you know, that's a part of life. That's a part of growth. You take time to get to know people. Um, you give them chances. 
once they show you who they are, believe it. But you have the choice to decide if you want to continue to get to know them or not. I always usually give people second and third chances. That's just who I am. Call it a flaw or whatever. But then after a while I decide it's just not for me. And that's what I decided. So that girl and I stayed in contact. It's my great Southern Texas friend. She just actually relocated back to Texas, but her and I do stay in contact. So now, let me add some of my foundation, which I use Black Opal. This is almost gone, guys. My makeup is deplenishing. I'm gonna have to get some more, obviously, but, um, and what I do is I kind of dab it around any kind of spots I see. For the most part, I'm happy with my skin. I don't have a lot of um, spots or discoloring, but I do sometimes just like to try to even it out as much as possible. So that being said, I am not really doing a lot with that group, and I have still had my friends growing up here in Minnesota, so that's nice. I mean, a group wasn't my entire life. It was a great way to get through the winter. It's a great way to meet some people. I do recommend that in your city or if you move to a new city. Um, but I also had been connecting with people that I grew up with here. Um, I did a little traveling. One of my closest friends got married. She actually lives in New York, and if she's watching, hello. But she got married in LA, so I flew out to LA before Chicago. I'll see if I can insert some pictures. Um, if not, it was hard. I just tried to live in the moment. I visited another friend that I had in LA. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay, so here's the blue one. Mm. It tastes just like Fruit Loop cereal. It's a little dried out, to be honest. They're not that great. in LA and um, so I didn't take a ton of pictures and I forgot my vlogging camera guys it's the worst thing you can do don't forget your vlogging camera but I forgot it so um, yeah but so this summer has been filled with visiting friends growth learning about myself my journey and what I learned is I give people a lot of chances that don't necessarily deserve it um, Please comment below about how you deal with things. Do you cut people off immediately and never speak to them again? Do you give them chances up until a certain point? Or do you give them chance by chance by chance? I don't know. I have always been optimistic in my life and feel that people are mainly good. 
So I always try to believe that everybody has good intentions, even if I kind of see some things that, I don't know, are a little rocky. I did start seeing a therapist, which I think everybody should. I'm rinsing this out. Um, it's been a really great experience because I thought that, um, I don't know what I thought. I didn't know where I stood on the spectrum. I know I have a little bit of anxiety I get, but nothing strange or, I mean, I shouldn't say strange. I have a little bit of anxiety, but nothing that's too overwhelming. But I just had things I wanted to work through about myself. And to be honest, um, I thought I would hear a whole bunch of negative things about myself. But what I've heard is, she said that even though I have let people go in my life, that I seem to be the type of person to allow people to get way too many chances sometimes and they take advantage of my kindness. That's an issue I have. Um, but she said that she saw the growth in me and the fact that I've been able to let people go a lot sooner now and realize what's good for you and what's not, that that is growth. So I feel like despite you know, you running into bad people because that'll happen throughout life or even just people that are just not for you. There's nothing wrong with that. It's, I guess, how you handle it. Do you let it go? Do you let it prolong in your life? Do you let it allow drama to flourish in your life? Um, I have allowed myself to no longer have drama in my life. If I see it, I'll give someone maybe a couple chances and then I cut it off completely. It's just not worth it. Um, I have so many things going for myself in life that I, I refuse to have anybody diminish that light. So now, after I added my foundation, I usually do one more, um, another layer, I should say, of setting spray. I'll let that dry. Before I add in my concealer which is also from Black Opal. I think they have some of the most amazing products for people of color, and I enjoy it. It matches my skin tone so well. So I think um, all brands have different ranges of tones and colors. Find the one that works with you and support them. This is also a Black-owned company, and I do like supporting just people of color and minorities, all types of people. I guess the people that you don't feel necessarily have the um, majority in their favor. Um, so yes, I have grown and flourished a lot more. My job was going really well, is going really well. I think sometimes though, what I've always told my friends is I put this concealer on under my eyes. Kind of helps get rid of some of the darker circles, which are not bad, but I like them to be as lightened as possible. We're gonna kind of put it underneath, maybe in some of the creases. Oh, I forgot to put my um, eyebrow pencil on. That's what I usually do before any of this. But it's all right. What I have learned is there is no one right way to wearing makeup. I like this part, it makes it look like I'm wearing like Theater paint. <laughs> um, but I will also put on my eyebrow pencil here as well. And I am no expert with this part at all. I just try to fill in any parts that kind of look, um, I don't know, thinned out or not as full. I have eyebrows, and I really like my eyebrows, but I do like them to be a little shaped a little, and um, filled in, so they look a little darker. I don't do any of like the shaving of eyebrows or anything, but do you see the difference already? You see this one compared to this one? This one's gonna be filled in too. A little darker. I don't do any of like the shaving of eyebrows or anything, but do you see the difference already? See this one? Okay, now that my eyebrows are on, they're not perfect, but I just filled them in more. Um, we will move on. 
So then I take my same sponge and I dab. Just dab where you put the concealer on. And what it does is it kind of causes this uh, 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 brightening effect in certain spots that sometimes have like dark creases and it just helps highlight and brighten, conceal any spots you have. But um, here we go. Okay, voila. You see? You see what it does? It just kind of makes your skin look a little more flawless. And who doesn't want flawless skin? But of course, you have to take care of your skin underneath first. So every night, I take it off with an actual makeup remover um, solution. And then I put on moisturizer at night. Every morning, I wash with just warm water and put moisturizer on. So I don't let makeup just sit on my face. And usually at the end of the day, maybe after eight hours, I will take it off. I don't let makeup sit on my face like an entire day, unless it's just some special occasion. But still, make sure I really wash and take care of the skin underneath. And then you don't need as much makeup. So as I was saying, with work, things are going really well. But I always say this, in corporate life, you're only as good as your last project remember that not even just necessarily corporate life but I speak to corporate life because that's the life that I have made a career in I have done really good work I continue to do good work I bring my positive attitude and my optimism and my ideas and creativity to the table and a lot of times it goes really well but if there is any time that someone just doesn't like you or things don't go well I feel like it can go way south really quickly and unfortunately I've run into situations like this before and it's really hard to build yourself back up not that I'm not confident in my work it's just the fact that a lot of times a lot of these companies nowadays are not loyal to their employees I have never been fired yet <laughs> I hope that never happens in my lifetime or let go um, but I realized that um, people are disposable a lot of times in a lot of companies. I'm not going to speak to all of them. But a lot of the major corporations, it's about the money. It's about what makes most sense to them. It's about office politics. If you're not best friends with the right people, sometimes you will be let go first. Or if things go down, they'll side with that person first. And to be honest, as a woman of color, sometimes I feel like... Um, it's harder to connect with people. They don't feel as comfortable connecting with you immediately, no matter how nice you are, because I'm nice to everyone. And I'm not gonna say that's just a color thing, that also is partly my personality. If you guys know me, I am somewhat of an introvert. Believe it or not, I'm a walking contradiction, guys. So I don't like being center of attention, but yet I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> in hopes to not only help myself grow, but maybe uh, touch someone else's heart out there, or someone who's going through similar things, give them hope. Um, I also don't like being a center of attention, but I love to sing and love doing karaoke. So I am kind of a walking contradiction, but I'm a little bit of an introvert. That being said is as bubbly as I am in the office and how I like to talk to people, when it comes time for me to work, I'm kind of zoned in heads down and a lot of times especially I don't want to say this too loud and make it seem like it's gender specific but sometimes when it has been other women they've felt that there's something wrong um, and it's not that but needless to say that has nothing to do with today my job is going very well yes there are ups and downs just like there is in any career um, but I've really kind of lately just analyzed what I want to do with my life long term and where I want to be in life and to be honest I um, am not completely sure I think it's not it, we don't have to know everything right away I hate that because you have kids they feel like people society makes you feel like you have to have everything figured out it's never the case you grow and evolve and learn as you go you know, the next thing I'm gonna do here, guys, is put on one more thing of setting spray. 
here we go okay and while that dries but you evolve and you grow you're never the same person you were now in your 20s that you were in your teens or in your 30s as you were in your 20s or 50s as you were in your 30s you're always going to be changing but the point is is when you learn to continue to grow is what i've learned and try not to step backwards and make horrible decisions or make the same mistakes i should say i don't know if any decision well there are some bad decisions i'm not going to say them but um i think a lot of everything you do is a growth learning potential um so at the end of the day i realize and you should too that when it comes to work especially in the millennial generation you have to really focus on what works for you and what works best for your family um, the generations before it was always the company comes first everything comes first i'm not saying sabotage your career or sabotage a company that's not it of course you want to do good work all times and put your best foot forward but i mean at the end of the day if you're teetering on maybe making a big career move or changes in your career or just in general in your life don't base it on what a company thinks or is best for them at least that's how i feel because if they need to make a huge organizational change, they'll never consult you first. At the end of the day, they care about their business, so you should care about yours, is how I feel. So the next thing I like to do is, I don't really need a ton, but I like to put a little bit of blush on. And what I have is just e.l.f. And you can see the one that I like to use, because it's got a hole in it. Um, but I like to have this, that deep color. Just a little bit on the cheekbone, very light, so you can barely see it. A little bit on my nose, but mainly on the cheekbones. Make it look like it got some life, some blood flow under there. <laughs> so that's done. Then yes, you guessed it. Here's the big news. I have genuinely tried to do everything in Minnesota. I have had a great career. I purchased a home. I have fixed up my house. I have put thousands into this house, guys. I have gone out of my way to make new friends, tried to maintain the old friendships, and I even tried dating here a little bit. That's a whole other subject, but, um, this sometimes no matter how hard you try and this is how you know if you try really hard and things just still don't feel right maybe it's just not for you give it some time it's been almost two years remember my last video i told you guys give it about two years it's been almost two years for me now and it just doesn't feel like home anymore yes i grew up here but this is not doesn't define who i am in some ways i'll always be a midwest girl at heart but I have seen and done so much more now and I am ready to keep exploring the world and so I have some big changes coming up. Now let's go into, I'm going to actually put in a little bit of this transitional eyeshadow powder on. I like to use the top one, it's a transition color. It helps just accentuate and brighten a little bit more. Um, so I put a little bit under my eyebrows. You can see it just pretty much is the same color as my skin. It has a little bit of reddish undertone. But it helps brighten a little bit. I also sometimes even just put a lighter coat all the way down the eyelid as like a base before I put color uh, eyeshadow on. Because it is pretty much my skin tone and it helps lighten up and give it like a fresh palette. So, like I said, I have tried dating and everything, and that's complex because, as you guys know, um, whatever you may say about it, I was going through a divorce, and I had papers in the works, 
and they still are actually. They were put on pause because uh, my husband at the time was going through cancer and it was really tough and stressful so we decided to put it on hold and pick it up later. Um, so in the meantime, I was kind of just talking to people and it seemed that no matter how great the connection was, there was just always something. And hey, that's that's dating, right? You, you date a bunch of people, not necessarily sleep with. Get your mind out of the gutter. But you date and talk to a lot of people before you find the right person. And I just kind of feel like the whole culture of the region is not for me, and I'm not saying I've met every person, um, but I have genuinely given it a good try, and I just don't seem to be connecting, and it could honestly be myself. It could be the fact that I have not really been happy here, and I have been, you know, on in my mind, almost one foot out, so I don't know. Maybe it was me as well, but I am, Definitely not feeling Minnesota anymore. And I knew that my job, although they said they'd probably work with me and if I ever moved, just let them know. <laughs> when you know, you know. And, um,. Places will make lots of promises because they want to keep you. Um, but when you ask and things seem like, hmm, ha, hmm, I don't know, hmm, they're not going to do anything for you. So I put myself first and my family first. And I took time, as you saw in my other videos, this past spring break, two weeks to go look at neighborhoods in different cities. And I have decided we da, 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 are moving to Phoenix. <laughs> Phoenix, Arizona. I loved it. It was everything for us. We loved it way more than we did Vegas. I have family in Vegas though, which is only like three hours away. So it is a quick drive for us for holidays and things. Um, yeah, Phoenix, we're going to make it home. So I initially just applied to one job um, from far away. I applied to one and that was the first one I applied to that I actually got an interview. Now, it took probably a good, I don't know, four weeks before I got a call initially, which is a long time. I don't know if it's they were just trying to weed out um, local candidates first or what it was. I did use my Minnesota address on my resume um, and I got a call from a recruiter. And we went through this interview process. It went great. Then he sent it on to the hiring manager, which would be the person I would directly report to, which is pretty much like the VP. Um, and they sent me a video interview, guys. That is intimidating. I don't know if you've done an interview video interview but ugh, you feel kind of rushed but I successfully did that and they set up another interview with the VP and the person I would be working with so they did um, an over the phone interview with me video interview with me and asked me more specific job related questions and they asked a lot I mean, it's a big investment to invest in someone to start in a new job, and especially someone who's from out of state. So I was okay with that, and I passed it with flying colors, of course. And um, so you see, I kind of gave that base. And what I like to do now is use kind of this brown color. I love this. This is one of my favorites. It's just. Um, a little bit darker than my skin and it has a little sparkle in it so it looks natural but um, it's pretty I just love it and I put that just on like the base of my eyelid so I keep the transitional up here so went through that interview 
passed it with flying colors and then we set up another interview guys another one with that same VP and the same person I would be working with and there they had me take the ball and show them and test me formally in systems that I'd be working in. Now, I've been very comfortable with these systems. I've worked with them for over six years, so I wasn't so intimidated by the systems and I was nervous about what I was gonna be asked. Uh, but I am in my element when it comes to working. So I did really well with that and I actually taught them some things and they were impressed. So I hear about a week later that the senior HR manager was going to speak to me. I spoke with that person. We had about an hour chat. It was great. They said that they wouldn't provide relocation. Now, always ask because it doesn't hurt to ask. I wouldn't ask right up front, just FYI, but um, they knew where I was. They knew I was out of state and I asked that when I knew that it was close to time and obviously they were really interested and they said that usually they don't do relocation so that was that and I was okay with that because I planned to move anyways on my own accord however they call me with an offer and in that offer they're actually going to help me with relocation which is something they normally don't do so this is what I did is I use the lighter color now I like the sparkle so um, I use this lighter color along with this really sparkly one and I kind of combine the two and I just put them in the corner of my eye. I feel like it just brightens up and gives you the extra sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. So there. Alright, so done with that part. The next part I like to do are my, um, Signature cat eyes. So I do this. So yes, I am so excited. And I decided I am, it just, things were falling into place. Not only did that happen where they don't usually give relocation and it was the first job I applied to that I got. Um, but then I started getting lots of emails of wanting to interview me from other huge companies in that area as well because after of course I applied to this one first but later weeks later after I hadn't heard immediately I started applying to other places down there it seems to be it's been like a four week process because it was about four weeks for them to get a hold of me as well um, and they have been wanting to interview so I see that there is job opportunity there and I'm really excited about the role that I got an offer from though so um, I am pretty sure that is where I will be, um, but I found a great place to live and I just am going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to stay. I don't ever want to live where it gets negative degrees in winter ever again, and I mean that. Speaking to myself in the future, if you ever consider don't do it, girl. Don't do it. <laughs> so, um, the next thing I like to do is put on this. And because this is takes a little more of my skill, I'm going to be quiet because I'll mess it up. Don't do it, girl. Don't do it. <laughs> Signature. Your cat eyes. See, this side is opposed to this side, which still needs some work. I think it just adds a little flair. <laughs> a little... So there. Flair on that side as well. And that's how it looks at it too. I use my liquid eyeliner and this is again just mix. Nothing super expensive, but um, it works. I'm not at that level of putting on makeup yet. I don't buy the expensive stuff. I just make things work. So I put a little setting spray after this. 
once I have stuff on my eyes and I let that dry. But another thing is the schools and the neighborhoods that we picked are amazing and um, they've been really nice and quaint. I got my daughter in a private preschool and the other two will be in the local school um, district, which are all very great schools. It's gonna be a bit of a drive to this new location of where I'm working. I'm gonna vlog our entire trip there, so stay tuned. This entire process of me setting up, going across the country, I'm going to try very hard to vlog really well. Um, so yeah, other job offers started rolling in. The schools were great. Um, a place that I found was extremely affordable. It's actually going to be about $600 cheaper than what I'm paying now, which is amazing. My goal is to just pay down debt like crazy and possibly buy another house eventually there. Uh, maybe by next year. I'm not sure yet. And it just depends on how things go. But I definitely do not see myself leaving. I see myself becoming an old crinkly lady in the Phoenix area because, like I said, it's three and a half hours from Vegas for fun. It is about where I will be, about five hours drive to San Diego, the ocean, about five and a half hours to LA. Um, it's a major airport. There's so much around and I love nature. I'm sure you guys could see in the vlogs before I love hiking. I love being outside in all capacities and there are so many nature activities you can do there all year round. All year round and comfortably all year round. Well, I shouldn't say that. Summer is hell. But there is air conditioning and it is a few months but um, I would rather it be like that and cool off with a cool shower than it to be so cold I can never get warm and that's my issue. So the last thing I like to do when doing my makeup is put on a little eyeliner. Now this is just pretty much the cheapest you can get, Jordana. And I just put it on like this. So yes, jobs are coming through, places to live, and the ideal locations are coming through cheaper than expected. Um, private schools and the schools seem great and open. Um, I'm trying to think what else. The timing worked out amazing. So you guys, when I bought this house, I didn't expect all the things wrong with it that have been happening. I guess that's the name of the game when you get a little bit of an older house. My house was remodeled clearly, but um, it was built in the 50s and unfortunately the roof was bad, I guess the siding was bad and through this negative 50 weather we had last winter, things just went haywire. It had leaking through the roof, um, through the ceiling, through walls, so I had to get a new roof. Walls ripped out and replaced, um, repainted, I had to get new siding so I actually put on um, cute little planter boxes, you'll see that. They're actually doing the siding as we speak. So I'm gonna slide in a picture. Well, I might put that in a different vlog. You'll see it before and after. Um, so doing siding, um, I've just done so much work. It's insane. But it turns out all of that work was going to be completed at the same time, at the end of the summer, that my taxes are skyrocketing. So my payment is going to go up probably about $300 a month from what it already is, which is high enough. Um, not that I couldn't afford it, but it would be tight. And nobody really tells you that with the house, that you could have an amazing area, which is what you want. You want your value to increase. But that means taxes can skyrocket as well. Um, and your, when your value of your home goes up, your taxes go up. It's just what it is. Um, that's why you don't buy on the edge. I'm grateful that I did not buy on the very edge of what I could afford so that I'm not homeless, but it's still tight. I wouldn't want to stay here long term. So it was time to sell anyways. It was time to sell. And 
one thing that I had to do also was work with my son's father in because um, we have I have sole physical but we have joint legal and I had to work with him and come to an agreement on how we would co-parent when I'm far away now we've done it before so um, it shouldn't be any kind of an issue um, everything has been very smooth we get along pretty well when it comes to raising our son so that's something also really important for those that have kids you may not have as much freedom if that other parent decides they don't want you to leave and or that they don't feel that you would work with them you can't just pick up and leave because you don't have a good relationship with them you actually should do just the opposite work on that relationship and when you have a great relationship you can co-parent better being far apart and I usually just put on a little lip gloss to top off my look. I like my lips to be shiny and popping. And this is the finished. So what I'm gonna do now is wrap my hair up because guys I'm gonna be doing a lot of packing today so um, I could leave my hair out but I like to wrap it it's kind of been my thing lately so yes um, the agreement is falling into place ooh, 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 ooh. I know that's crazy agreement is falling into place um, I just feel like I have a lot of opportunity to grow and do more in other locations. So once I tie this together like this. And I am really extremely happy with this decision. It is an adventure. You guys, to be honest, I am terrified because in that exact city, I don't really know anyone. Um, it will be all brand new to me and that's both exciting but also extremely scary. So you see this? But I am confident that I will be okay. I have to put all my hair in here. Um, but yeah, I just that's that's kind of the update. It's been a lot, right? It's been a ton. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything I've missed. Mm, I don't think so right now. Um, I probably do another video on details because I kind of like the story time. Do you like the story times that I do? If you do. I will do them more often. I know it's a way for us to really get to know each other. I love the comments that you leave below. Um, but I just am not always sure that my life is that interesting. I guess I have things that I, I learn along the way and that's the whole reason I started this, to learn for myself and to grow skill set wise for work. But um, yeah, is it something you want to continue to have? Because I can detail more things that I've gone through and things that I do go through um, and it could be fun. So anyways, thanks for watching guys and I will continue to vlog soon. Bye! If you like this video, don't forget to like and share. And for more video content like this, subscribe. Bye.